Good evening and welcome to our service of choral evensong from Tunstall Chapel at University College in Durham. It is a joy and a privilege to be able to worship uh, together and share uh, beauty, music, prayers um, in that way. You can follow the words of the service on the Church of England website, the Daily Prayer app, or in your Book of Common Prayer. Again, a warm welcome to this service. Tonight is Psalm 48. Psalm 48. first reading is taken from Genesis chapter 31 verses 1 to 24. 
And he heard the words of Laban's sons, saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's hath he gotten all this glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers, and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field under his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before, but the God of my father hath been with me, and ye know that with all my power I have served your father, and your father hath deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And he said thus, the ring straight shall be thy hire, then but all the cattle ring straight. And God hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream, and behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring straight, speckled and grizzled. And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring straight, speckled and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointedst the pillar, and where thou bowedst the vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. And Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted of him strangers? For he hath sold us and hath quite devoured also our money. For all the riches which God hath taken from our father, that is ours, and our children's, now then, whatsoever God hath said unto thee, do. Then Jacob rose up, and set his sons and his wives upon camels. And he carried away all his cattle, and all his goods which he had gotten, the cattle of his getting, which he had gotten in paid in Aram, or to go to Isaac his father in the land of Canaan. And Laban went to shear his sheep, and Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's. And Jacob stole away unawares to Laban the Syrian, in that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up and passed over the river, and set his face toward the Mount Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled. And he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days' journey. And they overtook him in the Mount Gilead. And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night and said unto him, Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Here endeth the first lesson.
The second lesson is taken from the second book of Timothy, chapter 4, verses 9 to the end. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me, for Damas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. And Thysicus have I sent to Ephesus. The cloak that I left at Troas with Carthus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchment. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works, of whom be thou aware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. At my first answer no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Salute Prisca and Aquila, and the household of Onesiphorus. Erastus abode at Corinth, but Trophimus have I left at Militum sick. Do thy diligence to come before winter. Ebulus greeteth thee, and Pudens, and Linus, and Claudia, and all the brethren. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. Here endeth the second lesson.
The anthem this evening is Da Pachem Domine, à trois voix égales, in a setting mm. by Charles Gounod. The words Da Pachem Domine, in Diebus Nostris, quia non est alius, qui pugnet pronibus, misitu Deus Nostem, are very familiar to us at even song as they are part of our regular prayers. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only Thou, O God. Let us pray. In the words of Thomas Akempis, we pray. Grant us, O Lord, to know that which is worth knowing, to love that which is worth loving, to praise that which is most precious to thee, to value that which is most precious to thee, and to hate whatever is evil in thy sight. Suffer us not to judge according to our sense, but to discern with true judgment between things spiritual and temporal, and above all, to search out and to do what is well-pleasing unto thee. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we approach the midterm, we give thanks for the energy, the support, the hope, the courage, and the grace that have brought us so far. We pray that in the weeks ahead we may use our energy wisely, keep or develop healthy habits that we may make the best of the second half of the term. This we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. We bring before God those we hold in our hearts those for whom we are grateful, those who suffer, and those who have died. We pray for the inspiring initiatives from our college community. We pray for our whole housekeeping staff and the porters who take care daily of our community. We pray for our catering staff who feed our community. We pray for all those who work behind the scene that we may all stay safe, in good health, and study and work in the best possible conditions. 
and we pray for Nigel and Paula, Tony and Carol, Olivia, Alexandra, and John. Amen. We conclude our prayers with the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.